Dixie to her best of the day. Next action on the track, the women's 100 metres, possibly the hottest lineup in any race outside of a global championships. Look at the quality there. Three of the six fastest women in history are all here. Let's take you through the lineup. Tiana Daniels from the USA goes in lane one, USA number two. In lane two, US number one, Javian Oliver, who failed to reach the final in Tokyo. Sharika Jackson, who left Tokyo with a bronze medal in the individual event and gold in the 4 by 100 meters relay. She goes in three. In four, Shelly Ann Fraser Price, silver in Tokyo to go with the two gold medals from Beijing and London. 34 years old, 10.63, she ran earlier this year. Kerry Richardson, 21 years old, the new kid on the block, all hair and flair. Wasn't in Tokyo. A one-month suspension for a recreational drug, keeping her out of the games, but she's been very active, both on the track and on social media. She has a point to prove here in five. Next to her, the double-double Olympic champion, Elaine thompson Hera, retained her... 100 and 200 meter titles, 10.61, the second fastest in history. Marie Jose Talu, yet again fourth, the dreaded fourth place in Tokyo, where she finished in Rio in both the 100 and 200. She goes in lane seven. Mojinga Kambunji had a fine Olympics in Tokyo, made the final in both the one and the 200, around 10.95 in the heats, and in lane nine. The youngster from Jamaica, 19 years old, Brianna Williams, double world junior champion at just 16 years old, the future you feel of Jamaican sprinting. So Daniels in one, Oliver two, Jackson, the bronze medalist from Tokyo, from Jamaica in three, Fraser Price, Jamaica in four, Richardson, USA, goes in five, the blonde hair, Thompson Hira in six, Jamaica, the defending champion from Tokyo, Talu seven, Kambunji eight, Williams in lane nine, left of picture. Women's 100 meters. Stand up, stand up, stand up. Starter is not ready. And Tim, just a thought, the quality that has been put together just two weeks after the Olympic Games is real. It's the Olympic final, perhaps, that we could have had, with all due respect to Dina Asher-Smith, who's uh, not here in the 100, but with the inclusion of Richardson, this is perhaps Olympic final quality. Not exactly right, and there is real significance too, of course, with Shakeri. Richardson has been denied that opportunity to compete on the Olympic stage, all the more determined here. She was the sensation of the first half of the summer in the sprints, Chris, and I think uh, a lot of people were a little disappointed when she travelled across to the UK early summer and in the cold and wind and rain of Gateshead in the northeast of England was well beaten by Dina Asher-Smith. But this is more like home turf for Richardson in lane five. So a reminder, Fraser Price in four, Richardson in five, Thompson here at the double Olympic champion in lane six. Women's 100 metres. Away first time this time, and Thompson here into her running fourth from left. Thompson here also going very well. Fr Shelly Ann Fraser Price, Richardson's nowhere. What a performance there! It's the fastest in the world this year 10.54, the winning time. Thompson here continues her form from Tokyo. What a statement! Understated celebration. Goodness me, it's the second fastest time in history. Only Flojo has gone quicker and she's beaten her own time from Tokyo, 10.61, and now she's just seeing it. A scarcely believable 10.54, and I'm afraid Shikari Richardson left in the blocks. Fraser Price, 10.73 in second. Jackson, 10.76. It's the podium from Tokyo once again, and once again it's Thompson Hira, who is quite simply a class apart. And a Jamaican 1 2 3, Chris, and the challenge of Shakari Richardson evaporated well before halfway in this one. But look at Thompson Hira responding to that fast start from Fraser Price. 
who probably gave her the impetus to push through that second half and win by two metres and going away. And for many people, Chris, that will be considered the unofficial world record. The whole industry, the whole sport, knows there are huge question marks around that world record of Flojo from uh, the uh, 1988 trials, or was it the four trials, 10.49. Everybody knows that that is uh, a time that is squinted at by the statisticians of the sport, but Thompson here is the real deal. Boy, how fast was she going through that second half to pull away from an athlete of the calibre of Fraser Price, who, let's not forget, ran 10.63 back in early June. 10.54, just to underline, the second fastest in history, only behind Flojo with a big question mark and asterisk over that particular time. Thompson here, not bad, you know, for somebody who's been nursing or had been nursing an Achilles injury for the last couple of years. She just is going from strength to strength and backs up the Olympic title.